So Rick, um, I would like to know a little bit about the framing of the whole mural. You have uh, this Indian mother goddess image. How did that image come to you? What were you thinking? Um, some of the inspiration um, about where she came from, uh, I, I have to admit, came from influences from Diego Rivera. Um, he has a mural um, with sort of similar theme. And then, um, you know, obviously not wanting to copy him or anything, but uh, I went from there and thought um, that she would make a great kind of tie-in to the past. I of some references to, to uh, a piece, um, or several pieces, I should say, by Diego Rivera. Um, I felt like, uh, you know, the, the whole Woody Guthrie thing and, and Pete Seeger's protecting the river, I thought the ultimate protector and keeper of the river um, as far as you know, humans go, would be you know, say the Native Americans, and so I thought um, of this you know, big river goddess, kind of nurturing and protecting the river, um, and and it just it just really worked out with the shape of the river, and um, I thought you know she is and will continue to be the ultimate kind of caretaker and an inspiration um, for the future of how we need to you know, keep the river clean, use it for what it needs to be used for, but you know, make sure that it continues to be used properly. So she is essentially a mother nature uh, yeah. representation. Yeah, a lot of people have, have said, you know, oh, it's mother nature, or they've said, ah, uh, oh, it's the river goddess, you know, or, uh, and, and that's the great part about these things, is people bring their own stories into it as well. So, so can tell me a little bit about this um, representation down here of uh, children or families drawing a fish, it looks like. Well, I think one of the original um, concepts I wanted to have in the mural was education uh, about the river and um, I know how important um, you know uh, bringing the youth into this whole environmental movement um, is and so uh, I know Gigi mentioned um, uh, Michelle Rowan Collins at the Beacon Community Center and I've done some work with her with murals and some of the kids and I thought oh it'd be great you know we'll have her you know teaching some kids and then, you know, the creative process takes over and then I had this idea of, of uh, these fish that the kids are drawing, they're kind of showing their drawings off and then um, suddenly the fish, the drawings actually start swimming off of the, uh, uh, the paper and then down into the ocean and then turn into, or the ocean I should say, the Hudson River, and then turn into um, the actual fish that we know. And um, I worked it out with uh, Michelle at the Beacon Community Center. Um, to have the kids actually draw these fish in their own way, in their own style, and then I'm going to take these kids' uh, actual drawings and I'm going to put them on here as as closely uh, to the to their drawings as possible, and I'm even going to include their names so the kids will have like this will be part of theirs, you know, and they can come and see the mural and show their friends and parents and for years to come and say that's a fish I drew when I was six and I was at the Beacon Community Center, and so I think that'll be really neat. Well, outside of celebrating the, the 30th anniversary of the uh, Woody Guthrie Sloop, um, I kind of focused the mural on a couple of ideas. Um, I needed something to, to, to reel in, you know, so it didn't go all over the place. And so um, the idea was um, either honoring the river, um, educating people about the river, uh, cleaning the river, um, protecting the river, uh, and respecting the river, I mean, respecting is kind of all of those, but, uh, and then utilizing the river. Obviously, it's used for, you know, commercial purposes and for recreational purposes, and um, so I tried to include all of those functions within uh, the context of the mural. So over here you have, um, in the utilization part, you have people fishing. You know, I talked to a lot of people about the mural and what they, uh, you know, what its theme was, and they said, oh God, you have fishermen in there because that's so important. So, you have someone fishing. Um, I have uh, um, someone, which could be represent someone reading or writing or being creative, literally. Um, some of that is represented here with Alexander Hamilton, 
um, which could also just represent someone writing, but he's actually writing the Federalist Papers, which he wrote um, partially uh, on Danny Point. And then there's a guy that's painting over here, and he's going to uh, make reference to Frederick Church, though not necessarily be a portrait of Frederick Church. They got people um, kayaking on the river, which is a huge thing, um, and I didn't want to leave that group of people out. Um, and then, of course, in the middle here, we have the river pool, which um, is a big part of, uh, of kind of a big symbol, I should say, of, of how clean the river's getting and the progress that we've made, uh, that we, you know, entrust mm -hmm. this little thing for our kids to swim in and um, in the Hudson River again. We have more education. Um, there's a, a, say, like a scientist uh, demonstrating um, like some fish to some kids. There's a little tank where the kids can kind of see live animals. They're all kind of interacting with this whole situation, looking, pointing, holding books, obviously very interested in what they're doing. And then you have a couple of people along the river here um, who are helping to clean um, and helping to collect uh, samples for the kids, for science, for you know all kinds of different things. Um, and then just above them, um, something that I found uh, from my personal experiences here in Beacon um, that is very important for the river is the connection through community. Um, so uh, this couch with the family sitting on it next to this table where people are drinking coffee and, uh, and hanging out and talking and reading, uh, to me that, that is a huge part because without you know, a place or or the ability to connect and talk and share uh, values and whatnot. You know, um, I don't know if, if a lot of what has happened would have happened. Um, and then, and then that kind of evolves into um, the fortune of us being in this area where um, we can eat local food. Um, we can meet our farmers and buy our food from these people and keep them in their livelihood and keep our bodies healthier. So I have this woman kind of bringing forth the tray of food that was made locally and then of course behind her is is the, the harvest um, and then you know and then that evolves up above them to the farmers who are using water from the river to to water their crops and that okay and then so at the center of the whole mural I have um, a representation of the city of Beacon which uh, I think has kind of been almost you know the nest for the for the Woody Guthrie and the Sloop Club, um, in that it's given them a, a home where they felt welcome and where they they felt they could um, really really make a difference. You know, along there's the the park that was cleaned up and there's the whole uh, concept of offering you know access to the river for anybody who wants to do it, um, which is you know the true I think achievement of the Woody Guthrie. Um, and of course, Beacon um, is represented through you know, the iconic mountain and the, the railway. And then in the corner here, um, I wanted to include something a little more contemporary that I think is important to Beacon, um, which is the Dia Beacon Museum. Um, a lot of uh, articles and, and whatnot have been written about Beacon um, in the New York Times and, and other um, publications that have brought Beacon to the attention of a lot of people. And um, they have moved here and invested here and, and you know, made their homes here. And I thought uh, the, the, the museum has, has been a big part of that um, in recent years. So um, a couple other things um, in Beacon that I have that I wanted to make sure you saw. Uh, we have a representation of the Sloop Club on the water. Um, and, and a flag that rep with a strawberry on it that represents the Strawberry Festival, which is a big event for the Sloop Club. All of this, of course, is not even is hardly even started yet. So it'll all you know pop out in full color. Um, and of course, we have all the trees lining lining the, the river and the railroad and the incline railway going up Mount Beacon. And of course, the city of Beacon, which will be represented through you know some lines that that are designating streets, but also some churches and stuff.